How do you do, my dudes? Welcome back to Completely Average Gaming. Welcome back to Little Big Workshop or Big Little Little Big Workshop, right? I uh, hope we're all having an absolutely awesome day. I'm doing uh, excellent myself. I'm excited for today's um, part two of, of uh, this little workshop conundrum, trying to make ourselves profitable and all that jazz. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll uh, reach that end today. I think we'll uh, we'll start off by grabbing this uh, little uh, research right here. Construction tools allows us to expand our little uh, factory here. And then I'm kind of struggling between either getting wood production one, which would be this one, which will grant us access to more advanced machines, uh, or grabbing both of these billboards and storage management. Uh, we can grab one of these in that one, or we can, uh, we'll just grab these two and then we'll wait for that one until we can get yet another uh, little um, research point. We'll get one when we uh, level up right here. We'll get two even. So uh, we're well on our way to doing that. And I started working on small drawers, which will be quite profitable if or when we can finish them. It'll probably take some time because they don't really have... Um, <laughs> it, it, it's going to take a while. Let's just have a look at the production cycle. Look at that. And all we got to work with right now is um, the woodworking station, which will take care of uh, all of this including that one and then we'll have the assembly station do these two so it's going to take quite a while we only have two stations doing the work and um, that tends to not be all that profitable or all that that's about as profitable as uh, it can still be profitable but um we're, we're going to struggle uh things are going to go slow very slow and i figure we would take this job and uh, and keep it kind of on the back burner let people work on it when we don't have anything else to do so that we can hopefully get it done by the time it um uh, escapes to market probably going to be a while the uh, demand is uh, is up and um price point is nice on it so i think uh, a lot of people will uh, will get into it i mean delivery will, will happen and all that jazz i I have no clue if that's how, how this game works at all, but I'm kind of hoping it is. And uh, and that's why we're doing it that way. Um, also, it doesn't help hurt, but it pays well. And the dime on this is probably only going to go upwards, uh, which also helps out quite a bit. Uh, I'm considering taking this uh, pony horse kind of thingy um, from, um, from Crazy Steve. I'm probably going to pay a decent penny. I think they're all pretty easy to make. I think it's like uh, one carve and then uh, paint and done. Um, let's have a look at it. Ah, it wasn't as easy as I thought, but we could probably do that fairly, uh, fairly easily. There we go, we uh, ranked up, which means we can now grab this one, which means we can uh, specialize um, the rooms, for example, for, uh, for, for various different tasks, like woodworking, for example. Hang on. Ooh, greetings, it's uh, Spikea, the global furniture company. Details, you want some shelves done. I don't think I can do shelves right now, um, although it would pay rather handsomely. I think we'll um, think that this guy needs, needs iron uh, to, to happen. We can, uh, we, can, we can have a look though. No, no, you're good with, uh, you're good with just the wood. I knew that a little while ago. Well, we haven't accepted anything yet. Let's, um, let us accept something. Uh, no, let's, uh, get one of, uh, which one? This one. Let's get this one. It's 50% on the, um, on the, um, straight cut, but it has 100% on the, uh, bended cut? Is that what you call it? Like the non-straight cut, which is an upgrade, both of which would be an upgrade to the woodworking station. It would also alleviate some of the work that the woodworking station has to do now, uh, the downside is that they uh, tend to have quite significant negative mood change uh, from these machines. And they're also kind of expensive, but, uh, but we'll, we'll stomach it. Hopefully we can make this uh, work out just fine. There we go. The, wood, the, the new wood machine has been made and ordered and put down and all the good stuff. Let's go ahead and set these two cuts up to be uh, on that one. You can be happening there, and then you'll be assembling all the way over there. Excellent. Eight of these in uh, two days. Uh, that's that's the estimated time completion. Uh, where's the... Uh, can I not see that in here? Maybe not. 
right, let's uh, execute the plan. Have a look at our uh, contract. I think it's, it's four days, 23 hours. We should be able to do that comfortably. Wait until the, um, the stuff arrives and then we'll uh, go ahead and switch up where things, uh, the order of things. Prioritize the shelves, obviously, as we so often do, because that will uh, allow us to finish that job and make some dough. And also, it's on a timetable, so yeah, there's that too. You can see we're quite, quite well ahead of um, of um, the schedule right now. We're at the, all the green here is what how much time we're ahead, and uh, you know we should probably be at what 10% now. We're almost at 50, so uh, I think we'll uh, we'll make good time on those small shelves. Or Spikea. Uh, it sounds less Swedish than, than I'm sure it's intended to. <laughs> uh, but who am I to judge? I'm not Swedish. I'm just, uh, you know, loving neighbor in Norway. It's not almost the same. Just much cooler. And, you know, all the good stuff. Shouldn't, shouldn't talk smack about Swedish people when they're not around, I suppose. Um, for what it's worth. Anyways, we're almost done with the shelves already, which will mean that we'll be back to all our small drawers and our little um, slowly working cash cow. Um, almost done. Well, almost done, he says, at 13%. Uh, take it outwards, though, so uh, apparently my plan worked as, um, you know, that's working while, uh, while we're still waiting for um, things to finish up. Let's uh, go ahead and grab this contract as well. You know, they pay well and... Uh, I'm not opposed to getting paid, let's just say. Let's um, do that. That's all it needs. 15 to be done. Two hour, two days, two hours. The time doesn't start ticking until you actually accept the contracts. That That is very helpful. Very helpful indeed. Uh, what I think we'll do is we'll uh, go into workers and we'll hire one more um, worker worker. And we'll hire one um, stalker, one, st one storage worker. What do you call them? What Hauler is their role, role name. And then Operator is their role. State of Tile. I'm sure you understood what I meant by the by the lack of words there. Um, possibly not, though. Which will also be understandable. Oh, shoot, Sickle. I prioritized wrong. Switch everything up. Go prioritize that. Go, do, go work. Don't sit here in the cafeteria and hang out. Go do your, do your job. Do what you're paid for. Come on. Speed it up. You're not paid to sit around. Paid to work. Work, work, work. All day, all night, all the time. I wish there was a way to like uh, change where orders were after you'd placed uh, start started the work. We've already ca caught up to the uh, to the dollar horse there, so apparently we we should be good. But yeah, it would definitely be nice to be able to switch up where orders go. I think you can do um, something like this and then uh, switch where a job goes. Um, move this to another another station. I think we can do that. Excellent. Uh, we'll also do that because why not? Uh, oh, that can't be moved. How about you? Can you be moved? You can. Excellent. For that, that can be moved. I cannot. How about this? Nope. Very well. well uh, no storage space available. Holy smokes. All right, what we'll do then is we'll uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, select that. We'll extend this a little bit. Like so, that should hopefully alleviate that problem. Am I right or am I right? I was right. Beautiful, we'll deliver that right off the bat. We will probably have to look into expanding our little um, our little area here as well. So look, uh, we are now well on our way to uh, getting familiar with uh, Psykea and we're almost at where we're after uh, associate with uh, Crazy Steve, uh, which is excellent. He, he just uh, ranked up as well. Uh, that didn't rank up, but he, um, he got more friendly. Oh no, it's starting to take fire. That's not good. Uh, hopefully they'll get it under control though. There we go. We've uh, delivered our first 100 products, which um, comes in handy. Uh, we're one um, science point up as well. 
the uh, the last sign here is uh, getting access to more resources that we can use. They are also, as an added bonus, environmentally friendly, which in today's society is quite useful, I suppose. Why? How come this isn't being repaired? I don't really know. And there it blew up. This is I, you know, stopped the started fast forwarding. Either way, they are they are now going to take an age and a half fixing that. But they'll fix it eventually, and that's what it's all about, I suppose. How how and where do we want to expand our little uh, stuff here? Mm, well, let's let's try to plan for the future because I didn't do that last time. I was when I was playing this for my own time. I didn't plan for the future. And that kind of started to affect me later on. I could of course have moved things around, but I'm too lazy for that. Um, Right, we'll probably have some more, uh, you know, exits and on on, on ramps and in ramps. Uh, export and import is what it's called in, in proper terms, I suppose. Uh, we'll probably have that over this way, um, which means this could probably be woodworking. That's where I had woodworking last time. I didn't really like that. Maybe we'll go this way and that way. We'll ex Band upon here, we'll use this as, as a storage room. We'll have our woodworking here, and we'll move assembly to this side, and then later on we'll have like a storage space in between here with um, exports on the side. Maybe that's the way to go. How, I think we'll, we'll we'll try that out. We'll see how that works if we can uh, if we can pull it off. Or not. How much would that cost me? It would cost me two thousand bucks. Can probably make that work. Uh, we'll put a uh, door in right there. And later on, also one on this side, uh, once we've uh, moved some stuff around. I didn't pull it all the way to the edge. That's going to annoy the living crap out of me. We'll probably have to fix that pretty soon uh, once it's built. Um, do we want to start working on the second room for, for these as well, right off the bat? Might have to extend this room, because there's quite a few woodworking um, components. And if we were to extend this a little bit, we could probably uh, fit most of them into one one little uh, pile here. We can also go ahead and set that this is... Uh, no, we can't because uh, this, though, can be... We won't do that because it's about to... Uh, what's this? The entrance and exit sides? I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll, move, we'll be moving the woodworking stuff to over here in a second, so we don't got to bother with that. Not yet, anyways. <clears throat> In order to save resources, though, what we could do is we could set up... No. Set up uh, assembly in here, but no, I don't think so. I think we'll, uh, we'll put assembly on the side here, so we can, uh, uh, you know, get ready for, for our next loading ramp whenever we get access to that. Speed time up. No reason to hang around in uh, this slow pace. Hopefully they'll... Uh, Get around to uh, why did I do that? There's nothing to repair. Oh well. So now it's getting repaired anyways, I suppose. But later on you can get auto repair people um, in and around the place. Uh, they are the haulers. You can upgrade them later on to become uh, repair people. We just run around and repair stuff when they're when the, uh, the workstations are idle. It's very useful. It gets very boring very quick to right click these things and go into repair them. Automatically, uh, manually, so uh, automating, automating, is that a, that's not a thing, is it? Um, off, automating, making it automatic, <laughs> um, is, is quite the, uh, quite a luxury, I'm very much looking forward to getting there. I think uh, in order to get that, we need to get quite far down the tech figure, um, with, where is it? You hear me? No, that's direct marketing, market predictions, anti-slip boots, assembly specialist, that's not the one. Uh, here? Service. No, that's service routine. I don't think I got that all the way down there either when I played last time. By myself. I'm not sure if I've told that story enough times. Probably have. Like five million times too many. Uh, oh, hang on. Stop everything. What's available? So Ikea wants some chairs. Have a look at it. Uh, you'll be that. We cannot do any of the... Oh, we can. What do you know? 
and that, and uh, metal. Yeah, no. All right. So we'll let this like key order go fight the dust, so to speak. There we go. We got some more contracts. Another one of these. I think we can uh, manage that just fine. We already got things set up for it. Very well. Uh, we'll uh, switch priority around here so that they'll prioritize the horses. But um, we should be able to do some work in both of those, I think, by the time these are finished. Still haven't finished even one of these small growers, even though we are quite close to, uh, to finishing it off. Uh, you can see all the resources lying around in the, um, in the little workstation there. So, um, so getting rid of all of that, finishing it all off, is going to be uh, quite quite delicious for our storage capacity. As that goes. Here we go, our first door has been finished. Look at that, quite the beautiful sight. Uh, definitely worth uh, a pretty penny in that one. Let's have a look at the market prices. See, it's going up. It's going up. Excellent. Excellent stuff. Alright, so it's starting a little, uh, a little lower, but um, but it's probably going to go up as well. Beautiful stuff. We're getting close to finishing that. We're getting close to finishing this. This is, this is going to be the biggest payday so far in ever. In ever? Yeah, in history. Basically. Uh, probably just assembling it is left. Go and assemble it. Someone. There you go. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's uh, go ahead and deliver that thing to the market. I didn't even see how much it was, but it's five grand-ish, probably, which is quite sweet. Five and a half. Give it to me. I'll take it. Right, let's uh, slow things down. Let's uh, go ahead and move you over here. We'll probably want the machines on this side, I think. We'll put you there. Uh, it's going to be fine. And we'll uh, move you as well. You about there. It's going uh, to be dandy. Uh, we'll move the plant here as well to in between. Uh, maybe flip it around that way. Why? Why wouldn't it want to be that way? No one really knows, right? Put it there. We'll probably move the tally to um, to there. Sure. We'll move the door. Can't move the door. Of course not. Why would you? We'll move the paint station. That can uh, uh, repair it for you, right? Want to move the paint station here? Along with the plastic. Pairs are being done. Excellent. Good hope. You, tell me, and there. Good hope. Thing is, I kind of want, uh, want more stuff in here. I'm being honest. Do I not see the the mood of the room? How come? Don't know. There's there is a toggle though. Minus one mood, right? Uh, give me a, uh, a billboard. These are quite small. I could probably... Could probably fit you know, several of these and still move the door and have space for another machine in the, uh, in the corner here. I would imagine. Let's um, go ahead and, and fling this in first. How much does it depend? Maybe we want something a little bit more powerful like this one. Get rid of get get rid of that. Beautiful. Move that over to there, short, and make me a little bit of a stockpile kind of thing in the middle here. Uh, we'll extend that a little bit, maybe not so much. There you go. Uh, move you to there and turn you around. I got a different plan now. There you go. Uh, you move over there ish. There you go. And we'll have a stockpile right around here. Actually, we'll leave the stockpile like so for now. And then I want a door right there. And then uh, we'll change the size of the uh, the stockpile right there. There's the, there's the tick. Beautiful. You will be only for workstations and we'll connect up these two stations right there. Oh, I forgot to order the thing. Beautiful. And I kind of want you to be export zone. Just gonna fill that thing up quite quickly. Maybe we shouldn't call that 
stockpile. So mm, I think we'll I think we'll have to expand our place a little bit more uh, in order to fit more stuff where we want it to be fit. Uh, let's just uh, come on, really? Let's, come on, it, it feels like it's a, it's it's at least one meter uh, in the back bone there. We could have done. There you go. And uh, demolish. What? Yeah, get rid of this wall right here and get rid of all of this wall. Okay, can you, can you, no, can't do it. Very well, we'll just um, get that then. Don't mind me, I didn't ask you to do anything. You flipping construction people. Right, how about now? Can I, uh, there we go, get rid of that wall. Add that part of it all to, to the mix. Then we'll probably just move the whole stockpile over to this uh, little extension right here, I think. And, uh, or we can have a secondary storage here, which will be uh, open for everything and anything. And we'll set this to be export. Yeah, we'll set that to be export anyways. And then for now, we'll just extend this storage. Uh, there's the tick. Excellent. Excellent. Right. But I think that's going to wrap it up for today. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to fling a massive like at it. If you have any thoughts, comments, suggestions, or questions, I'll leave those down below in the comment section. And if you haven't already, you're still here and you're still considering it, hit that subscribe button. Get it over with. Anyways, I've been Average. You've been absolutely awesome. Thank you so much for joining. And I'll see you next time. Very well.